Welcome back to Good Morning Emerson. Now earlier, Josh and I discussed some ideas for celebrating Valentine's Day on a college budget. And we still stand by all of our fantastic ideas, but if you want to do it up, just, I don't know, a smidgen more than our cooking correspondent Justin Chun may have just the right thing. And Justin, I'm not going to apologize for this pun. What's on your plate? Thanks, Josh and Megan. We talked about Valentine's Day on a budget. Well, I've got a, a budget do-it-yourself dessert here. I also had a chance to go down, stay in the neighborhood, and go down to the award-winning Finale restaurant. Good morning, Emerson. We're here at Finale, and it's my birthday. So we're going to have a look at some of their signature desserts, and maybe I'll even get the snag one. We're here with Lindsay, who's going to show us some of the duties of a line chef, making a couple of finale favorites. Uh, first is going to be the molten chocolate, and then the creme brulee. The molten chocolate, we start with just the basic like batter of it, and it's in this mold. It takes about eight minutes to cook, so you start off with that. You basically want the cake to be soft, um, really soft on the inside, like gooey when you break into it, but the outside to be like a cake texture. And while that's in the oven, we usually start like preparing the plate for it. Just in case I find a girlfriend between now and Valentine's Day, ladies, um, do you offer any Valentine's Day specials? For Valentine's Day, we do um, a separate menu, basically, and it's three or four different dinners, and it's all for one set um, price. So there you have it. Finale is a great place for everyday dining, drinking, or a bakery. Right now, I'm going to enjoy myself a little bit of birthday creme brulee. See you back in the studio.